Before Seattle's new SR99 tunnel can open, there's a lot of work to do. Parts of State Route 99 to the north and south of the new tunnel are actually temporary detour roads built to keep traffic moving during tunnel construction. Now that construction is coming to a close, those detours need to be taken out of place and the main line connected into the tunnel. And so the work that happens over this approximately three week period is work that's necessary to take that detour out. At the north end of the tunnel, a temporary wall built for the SR99 detour will be removed, allowing 99 to be realigned into the tunnel. So what we have here is a geosynthetic wrapped earth embankment wall. This comes down and where I'm standing today becomes the ramp into the tunnel. At the tunnel's south end, near the stadiums, the detour needs to be demolished and a new road built. Also, buried ramps will be unburied. So years ago, Seattle Tunnel Partners built the on and off ramps to the tunnel. But those ramps are located in the footprint of where the detour now is. Now that the detour is coming out, they will take all that material out, open those ramps up, and then make those connections into the tunnel. And then there's this challenging work, finishing the new northbound off-ramp into downtown Seattle. This off-ramp will open up to two weeks later than the tunnel. At the south end, the northbound off-ramp, the bridge was constructed a couple of years ago, but the embankments to that bridge are intersected by the detour. So those embankments will be constructed during this period of time. More than 90,000 vehicles use the viaduct each day. Closing it for three weeks will be a huge challenge for everyone. If everybody can do their small part to to reduce their trips or look at other ways to get in downtown or eliminating trips altogether, it helps us overall.